Attacked somewhere. They warned him, didn't they? They threw that awful stench bomb on our lawn yesterday. Yes, your aunt says there's been some kind of trouble out there at Stanford Chemical. Well, he uh, has been threatened. And then there have been those anonymous phone calls. Oh, but those are from hotheads. Hotheads? What are they hot about? He's been negotiating with a conglomerate, dickering to sell. Now, a lot of the old retainers do not like this. You might say there has been uh, an excess of uh, corporate bad feeling. I see. Uh, how did you feel about this, ma'am? Did you side with your husband on this? Well, I was in the process of making up my mind, which is beside the point right now. David is missing. That's the only issue. Yes, it certainly is, ma'am. Uh, tell me, do you know anything about his whereabouts tonight? He left the plant around 7. Uh, he was going to Pine Wild. Pine? Uh, wild. Pine Wild. I'm not familiar with that. Uh... We have a place up there. He should have arrived hours ago. The caretaker hasn't heard anything, and I called the sheriff's mountain office. They can't find him. Oh, look, maybe they got hungry. Maybe they stopped off somewhere for a drink. Raj, you know that isn't so. He told Benson he'd have supper up there. You know how awful those roads are. He'd only taken the aerial tram and had the caretaker meet him at the top as I do. It's so much safer, faster. Well, ma'am, I checked with highway patrol, and there's no report of any accidents on those roads. There, you see? Oh. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant, I think we uh, owe you a drink. Well, Aunt Dory, when he was out of town last week, you didn't even notice he was gone. Now, what made you call the police tonight of all nights? Uh, do you want a drink? Roger, I called the commissioner of police, and he said he'd send over his very best man. Was that a fact? Well, my wife, she says I'm second best, but... Uh... She claims there are 80 fellas tied for first. Uh, at any rate, uh, I don't mind being sent out on a false alarm. I just hope that this is one. Because she had a right to call. You see, uh, she got this message. Here, I I'll show you. Message? Yes, he called just before I got home from the opera board meeting. That was at 7.30. Maybe you better operate this, because I'm not sure how it... All right, Lieutenant. You can tell that he's calling from a car. You can, you can hear it on the recording. There's no one answering at the moment. This is a recording device. Would you care to leave a message? Oh, these modern idiotic devices. She's not home yet. Quincy, look at the dash there, will you? Dash? You hear that? Dash from the car. If so, your voice will be recorded and the connection won't be broken until you hang up. Nope. What's the matter with Benson? You sure your cigar case isn't in your coat pocket? You may start your message now. Thank you. Yeah, uh, just give me the, the, the box. Thank you. Hello? Hello, darling. It's me. Hold on just a second. You want me to pull over and open that for you? No, that's all right. I got it. Uh, look, when I'm calling, I tried to get you earlier today, Donovan, but you guess you were in one of those silly committee meetings or something. Miss Bishop couldn't get you from the office either. But what I was calling about, I'm, uh, I'm on my way up to the cabin now. So I'll see you tomorrow, no, Sunday, rather, Sunday afternoon or evening sometime. But, uh, what I wanted you to know is that, uh, Roger is going to come over to see you tonight. He wants to talk to you about something, so I just wanted to make sure that you'd be home and uh, wait up for him, will you? It's, uh, while he's made a decision about something, it might not be exactly what you figured it would be, but uh, to my way of thinking, it's, it's a wise decision. So, um, after you talk to him, uh, call me back at the cabin, will you? Let me know what he decided. Bye bye for now, Donna. Gee, I'm terribly sorry about that. Here, I've, I've got something in my yeah. pocket. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, that's it. Uh, he just hung up. Yeah, sure. Roger, you're just as concerned about him as I am, aren't you? What? You seem so upset. I'm surprised because you don't like him very much, do you? Oh, uh, uh, 
Well, actually, I, I've been growing. I've been growing much fonder of him uh, lately. Uh, did you call him back? Yes, I tried to reach him on the car phone. There was no answer. <sighs> Lieutenant, look. If, if there's anything you can do, do it. Yeah, go out there and find him. Well, I can assure you, I've started all the wheels rolling. We're doing everything we can. Now, this area, this uh, pine wild, uh, that's out of our bailiwick. But we. Uh, We've got the sheriff's office and the highway patrol there on it, and I'm going to stay after him. And don't you worry, Mrs. Buckner. Fine. Uh, I mean, we're going to find him. Thank you, Lieutenant. Good night. Good night. Good night. I certainly hope you're right, Lieutenant. My uncle is a very important man. Oh, I'm aware of that, sir. Listen, by the way, uh, what about your parents, Mr. Sanford? Are they both alive? Oh, no, they died when I was in college. It was a freak explosion at the plant. Aunt Dory became my guardian, and then she married David. Mm. Were there any other children? No. Aunt Dory is your father's sister? Uh, yes. And on your father's side, were there other aunts and uncles? Um, tell me, Lieutenant, why are you so fascinated with my uh, family history? Oh, no, it's just that uh, I try to get things straightened out in my mind. Well, in case you're wondering, if anything does happen to David, his money goes to her. Not me. Oh, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Oh, no. Listen, by the way, I didn't want to mention this to your aunt inside, but uh, is it possible that Mr. Buckner might have wanted to stop someplace without telling anybody? You know, visit somebody in private? No, I don't think that's any of your business, Lieutenant. It certainly is none of mine. Oh, no. no Sorry. Good night. Good night. Is your watch broken? Hmm? Your watch? My watch? Broken? No, why? Oh, it's nothing important. It's just that inside I noticed you kept looking at it. Uh, well, you know, Lieutenant, um, people do look at their watches. Yes, they certainly do. Sorry. Good night. Good night. Just one more thing. <laughs> 